Brothers and sisters, do you know what is one of the biggest reasons why people miss out on Laylatul Qadr? One of the biggest reasons is unnecessary fighting and argumentation. Excuse me? Do you know that was the reason? Fighting and arguing is the reason why none of us here know when Laylatul Qadr is on? In Sahih al-Bukhari, Rasulullah says, Qadr. He said, I came out to tell the Ummah when exactly is Laylatul Qadr, not options, last 10 nights, the odd, not, exactly. But when I was going to tell you the exact date, I saw two brothers fighting, unnecessary argumentation. So he says, فرفعت. So that piece of information that I knew Allah gave me has ascended. I no longer remember it. The loss of the barakah of Laylatul Qadr's date is gone because of unnecessary fighting and argumentation. Then he says, alayhi salatu wasalam, wa asa an yakuna dhalika khayrun lakum. He says, perhaps not knowing the date is good because everything that happens to the believer is good as in the other hadith. But then he says, fal tamisuha. He tells the ummah, seek it very hard, especially fit tasi'ah on the 29th. Wasabi'ah, the 27th. Walkhamisa, the 25th. This is how serious it is, brothers and sisters. And this, these are not my words that I'm about to say, but the biggest of losers on the entire dunya are the ones who don't take Laylatul Qadr seriously. And there's nothing that you can do to make up for it. Rasulullah said, Man hurima khayraha, faqad hurim. The one who's deprived from Laylatul Qadr does not take it serious, does not put the effort towards it, then they're truly deprived, then they're a bunch of losers. And nothing will make up for it. What about I make tawbah in the future? Yes, you can, of course. But to make up for that al Qadr, it will never happen. May Allah grant us wisdom. You might ask them, why? Why is it so serious like that? Because Laylatul Qadr is a night that can change your entire past and future. Give us proof. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man qama Laylat al Qadr iman wa ihtisaba. Whoever stands up at night in salah, on the night of Qadr, which is one of the last 10 nights, especially as in Al-Bukhari, 29, 27, 25th, all your previous sins are gone. All your dark past, our dark past, all erased. Ya akhi, I, ya akhi it's erased. I did that. It's done, it's gone forever, inshaAllah. But if you oppress someone, if you oppress someone, Wallahi, one million Laylat Qadr will not forgive you. If you oppress someone and without attempting to give the right back, la layt al qadr, wa la hajj, wa la donation will ever forgive that. So anyone who's sitting here, this applies to them. That's what you focus on before you stand up in salah. Do the obligation of get returning the right before you do the voluntary of staying up at night. Beware of that. But besides dhulum and oppression, wallahi, no matter what you've done, I did this, forgiven. Ya akhi, I, I'm sorry to say it, ya akhi, it's done, done deal. But stand up with iman, believing in the honor of that night, wahtisaba, hoping in the reward, and everything is erased. That's the past. When it comes to the future, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, I'll tell you two things. He says in authentic narration, a man would be walking in the mall and he is written to be among those who are dead. How does that make sense? He quoted an ayah from the Quran. On Laylatul Qadr, whatever happens to you for the upcoming year is written on Laylatul Qadr. It's passed down to the angels. So I have no option. No, you have the option. But whatever happens in the future, whoever's gonna to go to Hajj next year, from now till next year, is already written. Whoever will die, it's written. Whoever will be sick, is written. Whoever will be cured, is written. Whoever get married, is written. Who will ever have children, it's written. But what's the point? La. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the dua you make can change the qadr. The dua that you make can change the qadr. So if Allah decreed next within this year to have a car accident, your dua can completely change that.